First step is we're gonna take this wire and we're gonna run it to the end of this line. So we're gonna walk with it. So you slide your crimps on your wire. How many? Three. And then feed it through. This is a special wraparound insulator that's got a piece of narrow gauge metal in it to reinforce it so it doesn't cut through the wire. Crimpers and the crimp. run it through all of these sections to go all the way back and repeat what we did at the beginning. So that's that. So we have run all eight lines loose and now we are going to put trainers in the line um, so that we can get these nice and tight. So the first thing we do is we cut it, cut the line right in the center like that. And then we, once again, you see a trend here, three crimpers. And then we grab our wire strainer, and this is basically a come along, but for wire. And we put that through, and then we're gonna crimp this on, just like we were crimping around the fence posts. So once you have your strainer attached, you just run your line through. I like to get it hand tight first, and then put a nice 90 degree bend in it so that it can't fall out. And then we're gonna crimp that, or cut that off. And uh, we'll save that stretch of line there for when we start uh, having to jump wires to run electricity. In there. Now we're just going to start tightening. And that is a single One of strand eight. of high tensile wire. <laughs> Seven more to go, because each strand will get one. So, there you have it.